Hi, this is Gila Muniz. I am a mixed, self-taught mixed media artist from Beauty From Ashes Studio Teak. Um, welcome to my channel. This is my first video, so please, I apologize <laughs> if I, if you can't hear me um, or I'm not doing things, you know, like other professionals do, but I'm going to try my best um, because I want to reach out to all of you about my journey in art, what I learned, what um, has worked for me, what um, uh, deals that I've gotten um, also for my health I want to become a journey to become healthier, uh, to be more active of what I used to be. I suffer from fibromyalgia. I uh, suffer from uh, fatigue, uh, sometimes depression, certain things that I go through in life, um, and just some other things. Just my whole journey, I just wanted to uh, share it with you all because that was one of the words that were um, revealed to me um, about a year ago, I believe. God revealed it to me that I had to start sharing my testimony, sharing what I'm learning to heal, what I'm learning um, in the art world um, for his honor and glory. So I wanted to share that with you all. Um, again, this is Beauty from Ashes Studio Teak. You can, of course, subscribe to my channel. Uh, give me a thumbs up um, if you like to. <laughs> not, not that I want to. Uh, but I encourage you. We all have to encourage each other. You can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. I'm not very active in Twitter, but I'm going to start sharing more. Um, just a little bit because Twitter is very short and to the point. Uh, but to get more into details would be in Instagram, on Facebook, all the shows that I'm going to be appearing. I'm going to put them on Facebook, uh, doing live videos on my art shows through Facebook, and also YouTube. Now that they have live on YouTube, I'm going to be active on that too. So this is my first video. Welcome to my channel. And I wanted to show you that first. This right here is an Angel Chica. Um, it's a mixed media canvas on a six by six studio canvas. And I did only two. In another video, I'll show you um, the, the two of them, the original, I still have them. I am right now in the kitchen because um, my regular place is being organized right now. <laughs> and I didn't have a good light lighting um, um, in my room. So here in the kitchen, since right now I'm trying to create and I'm trying to cook and I'm trying to clean, so I just couldn't be going back and forth. So I said, you know what, let me just try to move things here in the kitchen table and um, work from here. But I really wanted to share this short video, and I'm not going to make it long, short video, but I wanted to show you what I have created. This is a mixed media Angel Chica. Um... And I use modeling paste on the bricks and modeling paste stencil on the, um, this are wings that I actually made myself, um, stenciled. I made a stencil myself. Um, but I'll do another video explaining all that process that I did. But I wanted to just quickly show you, um, who I am. And I like to upcycle, recycle, reuse things, uh, to give it new life. Okay, so... I'm going to show you God put in my heart to do something and some kind of movement, some kind of mission, um, because I was approached um, from a sister a, at my church a Sunday saying that they were going to have some kind of activity, community um, at a woman's college here locally, um, the Salem's College, and uh, she had heard that I do uh, art. So she was um, said, well, tell me a little bit more about what you do and what your purpose is. So I started explaining it to her. And that'll be another video, how that came about. Beauty from Ashes Studio Teak. God put that. That is named by God. Um, but that'll be another video. <laughs> um, so I was trying to come up with an idea of something that the college, the women at the college, um, something that they can make and take. Something quick, but something that they can do for themselves or give it to a friend. Um, so I don't want to give the whole idea out 
because I'm going to reveal it in another video. I'm just going to show you the process of how it's being developed, but not giving too much of the overall outcome because we will be sharing that um, that mission, that movement with you here at YouTube, on Instagram, because it's not only going to be done domestically, but I, I'm dreaming and praying that it's going to be even international. So let's start. These here, this was the last pack that I had found. Let me, let me put that here. Uh, these are market tags from Seven Gypsy. There's only 50 in the pack. There was only one pack left in on um i bought these in um tuesday morning so i had bought these about two years ago they don't have them anymore i haven't seen them um so i said you know what one morning god as i was um praying about it and talking to him what do i do god something that's not costly something that's not gonna be because you know we just we just want to do so much and we just don't have the funds so um i said what do i do god something quick something that that's not going to cost much but it's going to make a great movement and as i was watching washing my teeth that's when god spoke to me <laughs> and god speaks to you in at any time anywhere <laughs> and he just did he zapped me with the idea um, as I was washing my teeth the very next day, uh, this had happened Sunday and Monday morning as I was talking to God all day Sunday and, 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 and just battling this idea and battling that idea. And I was like, what do I do? And God, as I was brushing my teeth Monday morning, he went and he, it, it was like, it was so orderly and so powerful. It, it, it was like electric shock. And he gave me the name of the movement and he gave me the idea. It just came all together. And I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this I'm so excited. So I said, well, I do have tags, but I don't have enough. I want to make them and have them ready for the girls so they can create. Like I get them to a point, but then they can create the, the rest. So I said, you know what? I have, and I'll show you here. This is just a cut up part of it. At Costco, they have this kind of cardboard, um, and it's huge. I mean, I can't even imagine what's the size of it. But it, um, it, it's in a section of the toilet paper and the paper towels, and they divide like the layers of it with this cardboard. I mean, people just take it and they just throw it away. But some of them are a little flimsy, but some of them are more uh, sturdy and even sturdier. So I try to find the sturdiest ones. And I've always kept them because I've done um, some, um, what do you call that? Some book dividers. I'll show you that in another video. But I have used them to create that. So it's, I created some little birds. And then I was like, I can make tags out of what I have already. And guess what? I did. This is what I did. I made 50, 50, 150, 200 of them. I traced, punched hole, 200 of these babies. Okay? Um, yes, I have fibromyalgia and, and I have inflamed my... <laughs> It my I could not feel my my arm my my hand it was numb it I still feel a little bit I couldn't pick or twist anything but you know what it was worth it because I was doing it because God put a vision and I said I'm just gonna push forward I'm gonna finish it I'm starting to feel again I'm starting to I'm able to grab things but I'm still feeling as I grab things I can feel the numbness but I know it's gonna go away I know it's gonna go away. Um, so I made 200. I'm going to show you how I made these. So what I did is I took one of these out, which is this one. Then I took the cardboard and I cut them into, um, I would say like a 16 by 16. And then from there I traced, I traced the tag, the gypsy tag, and I traced it with pencil. And I even put, I traced a little circle. And then what you do 
and this is so simple guys you guys can do this yourself so let's say let's say you don't have a tag or let's say you have one um but it's used let's say it's already created as a bookmark or whatever you still can take it all you have to do is trace it even if it's a finished product you can still trace it and then create your sample and then yeah, this is a bigger scissor And then you can just cut it just like that that's simple and then you take your punch hole this way and then you can line it up see how the circle you just kind of twist it in an angle and try to put the circle part of it right over it see once you have it lined up that's when you kind of hold it there make sure let me see if I can put it there. See, I can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's already lined up. That's when you punch the hole in it. See, perfect. Um, some of some I do have a croc, croc. What is it? Croc a crocodile. Um, the big one. I have it, and you can use that. But I find it easier to lift this up in an angle to kind of view it than than lifting that whole thing see i just wish that they had something here because it does hurt when i do 200 of them this movement here it hurts and i don't have one of those nice um soft jelly kind of things i don't know if i maybe i can create something like that to help out but i did it so here's my tag that i did so this is the seven gypsy one and this is the one i did and as you see, mine is more sturdier than theirs. Look at this. See, and since we're going to be doing mixed media art, you want something to grip. The paint, whatever you're going to be putting uh, putting on. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. Now, this one's more sturdy, which is perfect. That's what I want. Um, so you cut them out, as many as you want. Have them ready. And then when I did next is that I took pieces of, and I have a bag full of just antique books or whatever kind of books you have. The pages, rip them into pieces. Music sheets, rip them into pieces. Um, old maps, just what you do is just tear it up, just like this, no fashioning order, just like that. And put it in there and they just move it around and put them have them in a bag or have them in a little case but just have it prepped and ready to do your that's and this is what I do because I use this for mixed media art for my canvases and now for my tags so I'm going to be doing a lot of these um, and I wanted to show you this is my this is what I use I found this at um, Sometimes you can find them at Goodwill. Um, I have found these at a consignment shop. So I got these, and these are antique music sheets. I have a whole bunch of them. I have a, I have like a, a stack, you know? So I'm always keeping an eye out because you want to have a stack of them. Because I use a lot of them, and I use old maps, and of course books. You can, whatever books you're not reading anymore, or antique books and I use different fonts as you see I put different fonts okay so after you do you rip them out you tear them up then I use I like using deco art deco podge matte the matte finish I love the matte finish so what I do is I have a brush specifically for deco podge and one for gesso so that one's for my gesso and this is for my decoupage and i do clean them afterwards now after i've been using them for a while what i do use to to maintain them is that i'll leave it overnight in warm water with um murphy oil and i leave them overnight and all my brushes um I think I try to do them if I'm using, if I'm working a lot on art projects for like festivals, <clears throat> then I take all my, my um, brushes, 
put warm water maybe halfway through put them in there put the murphy oil swish them around and of course after you have cleaned them like take out all the paint and gunk and whatever um and then put them in there leave them overnight clean them off and believe it or not that's how you maintain it it's like you condition it with the murphy oil and warm water so that's what i do so what i did was I used decoupage and I watered it a little bit down um, and then I took each piece and I paste them in the front and I paste them in the back okay then you leave it overnight so they can dry once it's dried the next day you come back this is step one create it you paste it on both sides then I take gesso and the gesso that I'm using, as you guys are going to see, is Liquidex Basic Acrylic Gesso. Uh, the reason why I bought this huge one is I, use, I do use a lot. And there was a sale that was 50% off, but I had a coupon for 20% off. So that was 70% off for this huge bottle. So that was a great deal. And I still have, I want to say, I think it's up to here. So I have to keep it an eye out on the on, on a sale like that again so what I did because I can't be hauling that around let me move my chair so I can stand okay so what I did is this was I had some face cream my mom had sent me and after I had finished it I thought it was such a cute and um travel size so what I did, I said, you know what, I, I could put, I think this has a good seal. Um, and I put the gesso in there and that's how I put it in my bags when I travel, when I'm working, you know, from one room to another. Um, this is where I put my gesso and it's a good amount. I mean, you don't need a lot of gesso to work on projects. So it's a good amount there. So what I did is I took the gesso and what I usually do is I shake it. I open it, put that down, you see right there? So I take a little bit of it, just a little bit, this way on both sides. And even though this one's done, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you, um, I'm not gonna use that one here. So what I do is I take and I'll bring it north and south, north and south this way like that okay then I do the same thing on the other side you put it north and south north and south and I'll tell you why I'm, I'm saying that north and south I'll tell you in a bit there's a reason why there's a reason why okay so let's say I already covered it, north and south. And just put a little bit. Don't put a whole bunch of gut because you still want to see the music sheet. You still want to see the dictionary. Um, I did not put the map, so I think I'm going to add some a little bit of map on it. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Then what you do is you leave all of them. Try to do all of them at the same time, whatever. How many you want to do a dozen work on a dozen. And then just leave them overnight to dry next day okay get up and sometimes as you leave it overnight they get stuck i i use um um the paper bags from my local uh store that i do my grocery and i take uh, instead of plastic they have um uh, the paper bags and i use them because when i'm painting um because i don't have one of those big working uh Board, uh, boards that people have um, I I still haven't found a really good deal and so I like to recycle my um, things that I see around me so I use this as a mat for myself to work on um, so after it's been dried overnight sometimes they get stuck the corners might get stuck um, on the on the bag so you just carefully with your fingers and your fingernails you just take them off peel them off very slowly 
and then then get your gesso again do the same thing now this time you're going to do west to east east to west west to east this way side 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 start from the top to the bottom and then you do that again west east east west back and forth and very lightly because you're going to do this process i did it four times so i did north and south north and south leave it one day or even the afternoon just just until it gets dry doesn't mean overnight it's just that it so happened that i did it at night time so that's why i left it overnight but let's say you do this first thing in the morning so you do your errands you go wash dishes you start whatever you need to do then come back at lunch you need a little break after what you've done and then do the next step see and then in the evening you want a little break you want to create when you want to continue working on your art then you do it north and south north and south so i did it four times two times north and south two times east and uh, west and east or east and west okay so i did it four times and look at this guys let me close my um gesso because i don't want it to dry i seal it really good and then always remember guys to maintain your brushes i know sometimes we're so into our art that we forget to maintain our brushes and we and let me tell you if you leave a brush with with decoupage it can really um and you let it dry overnight it's like it's damaged so i really you try to try to maintain them so they can last long as much as they can um so i just clean them in water then afterwards i'll clean them individually but for now i'm just trying to take it out so it doesn't dry and it becomes a kind of brittle so i'll leave that there for now okay so look at this so from what it was which is actually a little bit sturdier than the seven gypsy one this one look at that this one this one's a little sturdier now look at this guys oh this one's so wet let me just leave it there look at this i don't want to do it too much because i don't want to break it but look at this it is stronger and that's what i want that's what i want because i know that when i paint or i use uh spray inks um it's not gonna warp it it's not gonna like tear it up dissolve the material it's gonna have enough teeth to absorb the paint absorb uh, water absorb ink um it'll have it's enough sturdy it's enough teeth with the gesso and I know it's a lot of work uh, from the mission that when I'm trying to do but it's a little mission but uh, there's a reason why because then you can do it individually I'm just doing this initially for the girls because they're in college and they're in between their classes so I'm trying to um, start start the project for them and then they can finish it off so I'm going to do this uh, it's more of a I'm going to do these, the 200, I'm going to do it this way. So I think I'm going to gather some sisters from church to help me do this process um, because it's going to be, it's going to be a lot, <laughs> even though it's going to be fun, uh, a fun uh, work. So I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I have to do 10 11 12 so i'm going to be doing apart from the 200 that i have for the project um and even though the sister told me i think we're only going to have like 50 if we're lucky 75 girls if we're lucky who stops by the booth to do any make and take because it's going to first time they're going to be doing a make and take um but i said you know what we're going to spread the word we're not going to give a shout out of what we're going to do and the purpose and the mission and so i created 200 i created 200 and that's the, that's what god put in my heart is to do 200 of them um so what i did is i wanted to create 12 of them a dozen of them 
so I can do different samples that they can have and they can look at, at uh, and, I, and give them an idea, an inspiration. So I wanted to do a dozen of them to show uh, the person um, uh, organizing this event at the college, but at the same time also to use them um, to show you guys on Instagram and on YouTube. And so I need to finish these three. So I'm going to finish that in another. I guess I'll do a little short video as, I, as I, maybe a quick video of what how I'm putting it together. But that's relatively, it's not that hard. You just trace it, cut it, um, decoupage, uh, uh, book sheets, musical sheets, maps on both sides. Then you gesso it and you gesso it. I did it four times and I think four times is enough because you don't want to do it to an extent where you you can't see the words now I am going to add a little bit of map uh, the map sheets tear up sheets and then I'll put a little bit of gesso over just a little bit um, because I do like the map on it um, so that is really my first part of the process of these self do-it-yourself tags um, part of what the movement that I will be um, explaining later on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather some ideas some materials some acrylic some colors I want to get my hands on the dilution the dilution is it um, acrylic paint because I love how bright their colors I do have deco art um, folk art, deco art, um, I forgot what's the other name of paint that I have back there. Because so I like to try different things and in, in, uh, in, in different um, companies have different colors of shades that I like to use. I like to use all the colors that I can, but I'm very, I love bright colors. It's like it just brings life and joy in my life. Um, and I want to, I want to give that, when I create, I want to give that joy to other people um, so I'm going to be gathering material I'm going to be you gathering stencils I'm going to be gathering um, modeling paste probably I'm gathering different colors uh, different ideas so I can make another video as I'm making each individual a uh, tag so I'm thinking I'm gonna make one video for one kind of tag one kind of technique what kind of medium and then another one so as i'm learning as i'm trying different things you guys are also joining me into the journey of how this is going to come about so i do apologize if if you know this is my first video and if i just kind of deviated from what <laughs> uh, the process as you know i'm not a professional this is something that i'm just doing um and I and I've learned so much from so many of you guys here on YouTube and on, on Pinterest that inspires me. And I do appreciate all your videos and, and all your pictures through Instagram. Um, and I want to do. I want to also give back. I also want to share. This is an, a community that is so beautiful, just to inspire and to share what you've learned. Like I said, I'm self-taught and I wanted to share and I wanted to come together to create um, art while God is healing me because that's one of the things, I don't know if you get a chance to read what I've put on Instagram and also on, uh, on Facebook, um, is that God is healing me as, as my art journey uh, continues from 2014 uh, that he put in my heart and he gave me my life first which is Jeremiah 29, 11. And, um, oh, I don't want to get emotional. But that's my life verse, is Jeremiah 29, 11. Um, I don't think I'm getting emotional, but that Bible verse I cling on to every day. And I know God is healing me. I'm getting stronger. Um every day and um and i want you to guys whoever's going through just be inspired um whatever i'm trying whatever i'm doing that inspires you and it and it, and it also helps you 
um, whatever you're going through, um, cling on to God, um, that you're able to do all. If I can do it, why not you? Um, he loves us. And he's going to give us the strength. Sometimes we don't have the strength. We cannot do it on our own. But God gives us the strength to do so. And it's through him that I push forward. It's through him. It's, it's for my kids. It's for my husband that God blessed me. And I'm going to do it for his glory and for his honor. Because he's going to give me the strength to push forward. And I know that he's going to heal me through this process. Um, because I'm focusing, he told me, focus on me, focus on me. And that'll be another video that I'll be talking about how God spoke to me in, uh, in 2014, what I was, was going through. Um, so I want to reach out and share the that's got what God told me is to share um, what he's doing in my life and what can help other women that are going through in their lives. So, guys, I hope this was a little bit of inspiration um, that you can do, that you can create it on your own. You don't have to be a professional to do art. You don't. Uh, you don't have to be perfect. Art doesn't have to be perfect. Um, we're all imperfect, and art is just beautiful. It's how you, you perceive it, how you see it. Um, and there's so many different mediums and so many different techniques and so many different kind of art that you can do anything. Um, just try it. Don't be afraid. Just try it. Okay, so thank you very much. Please go ahead and subscribe. Put a thumbs up. And um, follow me here on YouTube. I'm going, this is my, like I said, this is my first video. Follow me on, um, I'm going to get my sheet back here. Follow me on um, Instagram. I'm doing a lot of updates on Instagram. I do have to update my Facebook. I haven't done so since last year. Um, and then on Twitter. But definitely subscribe. Thumbs up. Thank you guys for being patient with me. Uh, and I promise I'll, I'll do better. <laughs> um, and thank you so much. God bless. And uh, be joy. That's my favorite song this year. Is Joy from... Um, um, what is it? King and Country is like my favorite song. It's like joy. So shine, Lord, shine, guys, out into the world. Thank you and goodbye.